Hey everyone, this is Man in a Black Hat. And Obsessed Games, hello. And we're back for more Let's ah, Play Skyrim yeah. on RezoWalkers.com. So, how's more everyone exciting doing? Than what Nazir's been off <sighs> well, I can't really ask the audience how Very everyone's well. doing. I, I suppose they could say how they're doing in the comments. Now, how are you doing, uh, Man in the Black Hat? A of Stressed? A moving? Mm, personal oh, I know the feeling. Oh. I know the feeling. It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, yeah, and I get to do a been... thousand mile cross well, state move too. Would be an understatement. Yeah, that's a little I worse than me. I think. Uh, um, but it's worse than that. I think mine may be about uh, in the night mother's chamber. Five hundred meters. Talking, that about covers my move. <laughs> wow. In hushed but I know. Tones. Sounds like some well, of my military moves. moves. What are they planning? <laughs> I so, yeah. fear treachery. That's mainly because I tried to find somewhere close to the university. Uh, so that understand. was my priority. If Cicero is turning the others against me, and I actually managed to get it closer us. to the Yay. university Our as well. Family would not That's good. Such division. Yeah. Dear brother, I need you to. So yes, chamber. we are and going to become the listener now. To the shadows. They'll Be see you. Yes. Yes. Hail Sithis. You need a hiding place. Hail Sithis, indeed. I need that on a t-shirt. <laughs> like, inside... Hey, if anyone can make uh, Obsessed Games a Hail, th a Hail Sithis no t-shirt, I'm sure you'd appreciate Good. it. Oh, I would. Before I'm just meet, thinking, should it be like Hail Sithis on the back with learn. like the black hand on the front? Or both on the Represent front? Us well, brother. well, I'd say that's up to whoever makes it. So, Come on, guys, you you want to make one for me, don't you? I know you guys do. <laughs> well, I'm sure if you crank out more con, more uh, content real quick, they'd probably make one for you right quick. <laughs> oh, I I would get right now. I am honestly going at full capacity, but once I move, yeah. you guys you guys are not gonna know what hit you. It is gonna be a it's gonna be a virtual slap in the face from me. <laughs> a friendly slap in the face, I should say. Well, slap in the face, but it, still, nice to know. <laughs> and yes, we are currently in a coffin with a dead woman. Oh, this bit creeped me out. Yeah. It gets creepier, though. Yes. <laughs> No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex, <laughs> perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you? Hmm? Have you... have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. Triple obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Okay, could do without the creepy glow. I know. I did say it was going to get creepier. Oh, but how can I defend you? I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone. Stop glowing. I do not need a night light. It's bad enough being stuck in a coffin with the night mother, the mummified remains of the night mother, but the fact that she's glowing as well. Yeah. While talking to you. Man, if you could get her to never shut up could just take her out of the coffin and prop her up as a nightlight.
That would be hilarious. Cicero has failed you. Yeah, you say that now, but then Cicero you're gonna start getting nightmares. Sweet mother. I tried eh. so very hard. No worse than what I already but get. I just can't find the listener. I don't wanna think about what kind of nightmares I'd get. And yet you're thinking about them right now. Um, I'm just thinking about my routine falling nightmares. Although, to be honest, it's been a while since I've had one of those. What? What treachery? Defiler! Debaser and defiler! <laughs> you have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! Why so serious? <laughs> to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie. The Night Mother speaks only to the listener. And there is no listener. Would you like to know how I got these scars? She, she said that. She said oh, those God. words. Just... To you. Darkness no more Cicero, rises when please. silence <laughs> dies. No more Cicero. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to I'm sure he's good with a killer joke. <laughs> then, it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> All hail the listener. <laughs> oh, hi, Astrid. This ends now. Back Thank you, Astrid. Save Whatever us from the crazy man. Is over. Save us. Are you alright? Yeah. I heard the commotion. Like, who so is that coming from the guy to? who hears voices Where's from a dead accomplice? woman? Reveal yourself, traitor. Hey, Astrid, I just got promoted Let's over you. How's it feel? But she didn't speak to me. <laughs> oh, no! She spoke I'm the new guy, and I just got the biggest listener. promotion ever. What? I'm not saying the you have listener? to call me boss or anything, you but you, you totally what have to call me boss lunacy? now. It's true. It's and, uh, true. meet me in my chambers in five minutes. The Whoa! Has There's something we need to discuss. When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? I'm fine. Then what in Sithis name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? No, I actually heard a dead lady speak so in my Cicero mind. Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Totally normal. Just well, the Night Mother's This is the Dark Brotherhood. And the Night Mother, yeah. who, according to everything we and know, this is only Skyrim. Speak to the person chosen as listener, <laughs> just spoke. Right now. Hey, I've been watching Supernatural you? for. I've been I watching six this. seasons of Supernatural and? for the past week. What did she say? So uh, a lot of this is low key for me. <laughs> Amand Motier? Ah, Loki. No he has that. an army, you know. But Valenrude, that I have heard of. And I know I'm, where it is. I, I'm not gonna say the whole clan. Hmm. Well, no. we have no. Fusro Da, so Listen, we are a Hulk. I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we doesn't clear that, on that? That sort of makes us more like Black Canary, though, doesn't it? But you, that's the wrong but universe. I am still the leader <laughs> of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Think about Listen, it all you want, Astrid. I'm still your him. boss. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. And there are gonna be some changes around here? Uh huh. This is all just too much too fast. Go get some work from the... I'm place. thinking of redecorating later. <laughs> need time to... But first, I must steal crap to... To pay for it. Might as well steal from all of you. <laughs> oh, hi, Death Bell. Come on. Come on. 
Why are you being a pain in the butt? Thank you. Death Bell says no. Death Bell say lol, nope. Nightshade, yay. Hmm. Mr. Wart? So sort of going back to the topic of jokers, which one's your favorite? Mark Hamill. Definitely, thank you. I would shake your hand if He's I could. is the definitive Joker. Yes, I agree, 100%. It's really a pity that Heath Ledger died when he did, because he would have made a really damn good Joker. Hmm, he yeah. would. I won't deny that, but I I still think Mark Hamill's, Mark Hamill's Joker was the best Joker of them all. Yeah. He was manic, without being too serious about it. Mm. And with all that, all without all of that depression nonsense. Aye, that too. Will there ever come a time? When okay, Astrid wanted to need to see services. about some more work because she's Think being not. stupid. Because I'm totally well, the boss now. Your timing. Night mother said so. As Technically, you should be I've giving them work. Contracts. Yeah, actually, One that's exactly true. And another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. Hearn the Huntard! Go on now. We it's interesting deal. that they don't try and, like, revive the tradition of the other members of the Hand. Yeah, well, like, there's not nearly enough people for that. This is true. All the members of the Hand are currently dead. Yeah, but you'd, you'd think they'd have some other people. I mean, the Listener was the thumb, right? And then yes. what were the other ones called? The Listener was the thumb, and the... Um, Cicero and the Dragonborn are the only remaining members of the Black Hand right now. I'm just struggling to remember what, like, the fingers were referred to. I don't remember off the top of my head. I'd have to go look at the wiki for that. But, mm. uh, yeah, Cicero and the Dragonborn are the only members right now. It's a, it's a very exclusive club. Well, yeah, it's the top-ranking members of the, of the Dark Brotherhood. That's kind of a given. Gemma, where are you at? I know you're here. Come out and die. There you are. Ah, found it. Speakers. The fingers were referred to as the speakers. Ah, thank you. Yes. If I recall correctly, the listener would give the speakers the jobs that the Night Mother had for people. And the speakers would go and disseminate the jobs to various people. To the various guilds around the, uh, the area, the region. Yeah. Oh, hi. Hi, Dad. Please die. Please die. Please die. Thank you. Jeez, that's the most effort it's taken you to kill anybody. Well, it is a Spriggan. This is true. Spriggans usually take a bit of doing. Oh, hello. It's a treasure chest with orcish arrows, gold, and everything but the leather armor. <laughs> what? I don't want it's leather not good armor. enough. It's not good enough for you. Hell no. It's not even worth you carrying it to sell it. Nope. Obsidian armor might be worth it. But at this point... I've got some of the best armor in the game, and let's face it, after we're done here, I'm going to have the best armor in the game. Mm -hmm. Well, for I'll light characters at least. I'll be 100% honest with you. The moment you said Oblivion, uh, not Oblivion, Obsidian, I started thinking of, of Minecraft. <laughs> that would be interesting seeing... to have Obsidian armor in Minecraft. I am seeing everything on screen in Minecraft now. <laughs> oh my god! You know, 
they actually made awesome. a Skyrim mod for Minecraft. Hmm. What was it? Uh. Skyrim Craft. Hmm. I was thinking whether it was like Elder Craft or Skyrim Craft. Yeah, it's but Skyrim yeah, Craft and it gives you the Fusro Da, as well as a few others. I haven't checked up on that in a while. I wonder if it's still in development. Um, I think it was, last I checked, it was for the current version 1.2. Not sure, though. It's still in dev. Hmm. Then again, mods are usually always in dev. It depends on the mod. Some of them get finished. And just updated specify. for the various versions. Hmm. You're not Short loading screen, and hi. Um, I'm here to sell you, uh, death, actually. Would you like some death? I've got lots of it. I can, in, I can in fact give you a free sample. Here you go. <laughs> I think he liked it. He'll take some more. Do, 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 scaled horn armor. And I left it behind. Oh well. Do, do, do. Why is this counting as stealing? Oh, well, screw it. I'll take it anyways. Fair enough. And put it away because I'm done here. Let's see. Active effects. Do I have? No. Good. Considering I'm not a werewolf, there's actually a danger of me becoming a vampire. Ah, uh, yes. But then, if you do contract it, all you all you need to do to cure it is become a werewolf. Yeah. Which which can be cured. Yeah. Easily. That's the funny part. I say easily. And now we're over here. Doop 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 do. I might get to this side quest at some point. Doop 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 do. Hello. You're in route. Doop doop do. Moonside in. I'm here to kill an orc. Do da do da. Mm -hmm. He is going to die by my sword, oh the do da day. <laughs> oh. You are slightly noticed. I was briefly noticed. And he's still asleep, like a dumbass. And he's dead. <laughs> Let's see, gold. And a ring of minor squire, silver garnet, and he can keep the rest. Yeah, because he'll definitely need the rest in his death. <laughs> the one kill that doesn't hurt you no matter what. <laughs> and... Uh, wait. Why can't I go? Oh. That's why. Senior Dragon has decided to pay you a visit. Yeah, let's get out the anti-air artillery and wait for the dragon to land. And wait for the dragon to land. Come on! And wait for the dragon to land. Oh god, bitch! <laughs> it's not very effective. Ow! I know it's, it's cold out, effective. but damn, I did not need to be that warm. Or that disoriented. The hell am I? You're in a tree. Now you're in a swamp. And how the hell do I get? Oh, okay. Hey, at least your astronaut seems to be doing fine. Yeah, she is pretty fine, isn't she? <laughs> the hell did he go? Uh, ah, good girl. Just follow the astronaut. Oh, never mind. I'm back. Dragon. Dragon. Oh, there you are. Mm, looks like it's found something else to attack. Hold up, bitch. My kill. <laughs> oh, 
Nom 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 soul. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, what a delicious soul. It's kind of great how the character just sort of stands there absorbing the soul, just like, yeah, so what? Yeah, another soul. I'm awesome. I mean, if it was me editing it, I would have had an animation, just like, I don't know. I don't know what to describe it as, like, you know, a, either I A, it's painful, or B, it just, like, makes you feel pumped or something. Oh, we need hi, to Astrid. What do you want? Look, something is <laughs> happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but, well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. Finally figured it out all on your own, didn't you? Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Amand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? Fine. But I better see you in my chambers later. <laughs> Getting tired of this uppity nonsense. You reek of death, my friend. I salute you. Nurburk's dead. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one, as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. Oh, and her and the hunt hard is dead too. This time. You faced a vampire and lived to tell the tale. Well done. How many contracts do you have? Contracted sanguinary vampire. At the moment, be one. Be sure to get that taken care mm -hmm. of. Else she'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. So let's see, four hundred for killing Lurbuck. And at some point it's going to tell me how much I got for... Or it's not! How dickish. <laughs> I want to know how much the vampire was worth. Let's see, anything out of it? No. Anything? No. Okay. I'm off to kill some people! Again. Let's see... What do I... Huh. Okay, whatever. Go up the stairs! They've really got a cozy place down here. Yeah, they do. I really like the water feature as well. And hello, place I've been to. I haven't been to in a long time. <laughs> it's time to get the long neglected thieves' quests out of the way because I've got a nice, convenient break, and I want to level a bit before I tackle the last of the missions for the Dark Brotherhood. I'm gonna need them levels. Yes, you are thinking about it. You are really going to need those levels. So I'm probably going to wind up trading off between the two quest lines as I go along. And hopefully I'll finish the Dark Brotherhood before I finish um, Thieves' Quest. When do you plan on, or do you even plan on hitting the... Uh... Mage's College. Oh, I do. It'll be a natural part of the Thieves' Quest storyline. Okay. And besides, I need to go into the Mage College anyways to get the Elder Scroll. This is true. So... Sometime around then is when I'm going to get the Mage Quest done. Become the urge mage. 
Yeah, I was the Archmage before anything else, I think. Well, mainly I want to become the Archmage because it nets me a really nice mask. <laughs> Wait for it. Hi, rat. Bye, rat. <laughs> and I'll take that. And I'll take that. You know what I really hope for in the DLC? What? To become a Jarl. Oh, that would be fun. Mm. Oh, I don't think that'll happen in this DLC. But it might in a future one. And it's they time to hide. Better. I saved the whole goddamn sk of Skyrim. I think I deserve to be a Jarl. I think you deserve to be High King, but that's yes. something else. To be honest, I do deserve to be High King, but uh, I will settle for a Jarl. And... No? Goodbye. <laughs> oh, nice. Death by fire. That's why I backed the hell away from the rats. I love how he just goes up to me and then realizes he set off the floosh, turns around <laughs> and gets roasted. Yeah, he, he tries to get a bit of a tan, stayed in a little too long. Yeah. Oh, more locks with my miserable lock picking skill. Which all that really means is that the sweet spot is small. Yeah. But when you upgrade your lock picking, it gets easier. Yes. Unfortunately, there are not enough locks in the game to actually upgrade your lock picking to 100. You have to use the skill buy system. Hmm. <laughs> oh well. Although, um, something I did notice: the there are three chests located in the thieves guild that um will keep relocking. Ah. Maybe and they're of every single difficulty. Maybe that's how you do it. But I'm pretty I'm pretty sure one of the, the Thieves Guild members told me off for Yeah, Brendan keeps those telling chests. you off for opening the chests. But yeah, I'm not sure how frequently they relock, but they do relock. Nice. Okay, time to set off the trap. Yay! Swinging spiked ball of death! Ah, good old spiky balls. <laughs> and up we go. Let's see, I could set the whole place on fire first, but now nah, let's do it the sneaky way. Sneaky way works. Especially. Especially since it goes with the whole uh, thief motif that you're going for. Yes, the thief mage motif. Mm. Also, it is a thieves guild quest. Yes. Is that too? I'm a thief mage assassin so far. <laughs> and by the time I take on the uh, final guild, I'm going to be pretty badass. Oh, yeah. Dragons aren't going to know what hit them. <laughs> Nothing is going to know what hit them. Well, except for a frost giant, but those things always know what hit them. <laughs> the answer is something ridiculously easy to kill. Come on. You can Hit die you. now. I said you can die, not you can live. Oh, Living was not part of the like program here. Ah, crap. Just die. Who's Roda? Just die. Stop bringing your friends along. 
Ah, uh, there is the booster down. You die too. You're part of this mess. How does he keep moving with all of those arrows in him? I don't know. However, he finally died. Did that. And did that. And unlock the door that I should have done in the first damn place. <laughs> it's fine. Oh well, I'm an we assassin. Get... I can just kill everyone if I want to. We got to see some action. That's good. This is true. Do 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 do. Yay, basement. This is a very foggy basement. Well, what, are they gonna try ice machine or something? No, it's just uh, the water table's high. That's why. <laughs> Ac that actually is the reason why. Ah, that's that a real fair enough. That's a real phenomenon. You living in the UK? I think you'd know about that. I live on the second floor. Oh. <laughs> Well, that makes sense. Okay. Also, I did just... I did only move here for university, so... Ah. Time to hide. Yay, I got more Sneaky. <laughs> Sneaking, the one thing you can grind all the time. I kind of loved the idea of that, that... Just you have a sudden realization in the middle, of, out of the middle of nowhere. I'm suddenly better at sneaking. <laughs> hey, my this footsteps are getting more quiet. I'm a little <laughs> harder to detect. This is getting easier. That's the way I figure it happens. Mm -hmm. But you just mentally justify. I have reached the next level of sneaking. Well, yeah. Lots of people think that way. Darn it. You would have mm, to be an expert level lock. Ack. Come on. Come on. I mean, I can appreciate thinking, yes, I, I've reached the next level of guitar playing. Though I wouldn't grade it out of like a hundred levels or anything like that. True. But in the case of Skyrim characters, I figure it's them going, huh, this is starting to get easier. You know, they, they don't actually think of themselves as having levels, but they're just <laughs> thinking, hey, this is just a little bit easier now. I'm more experienced at it. Mm, it's just entertaining to think of the idea of how it would apply to real life. Oh, come on. I know Damn this is an expert spot. lock, but come on. Ah! Almost had it. You see, this is why I prefer the um, the Oblivion lock picking system. I hate that. I can't get it to work ever. I this just do the one. auto attempt every time. Well, then, the skeleton key would have been a lot better for you in that game. Yeah. I mean, the skeleton key in... Oblivion, I... I don't believe it had any adverse effects. Yeah, I don't think it had any adverse effects until Skyrim. Mm. But then, but, in Skyrim, it's a MacGuffin, so... There you go. This is true. And hop on down. Wee. Okay, we're back out where we started. I could just leave, Close. but why? When there's so many mercenaries to kill. And plenty of time to do it do it with uh -huh. do such a thing. I don't think I've ever left here without killing all of the mercenaries outside. I usually end up doing that anyway. Just 
running around aimlessly wandering into them and then killing them all because they one of them's noticed me and they all charge yeah although i so think it's me. possible to get through this without killing any of them huh i definitely believe that i mean all you have to do is just avoid combat with them Whereas here, you're just actively searching for it. Damn right. Uh, Run. You dumb bastard. Thank you. My hot lady is taking care of my... flank while I go and destroy things. <laughs> Okay, behind. Oh, behind. Ow. <laughs> Destruction. Flames. One. Two. Three. Done. Cool stuff. Swap it back out to Flame Atronach. Get my sword back. I'm gonna need it. And my lady. Is it possible for your flame astronauts to set those on fire? Yes, but only if she actually hits them by mistake. Because mm. she won't target them. Yeah, but just to lose uh, a stray. I was going to call it a stray bullet, a stray fireball. Yeah, it's possible. Mm. She does cause lingering fire damage. But you can see with the dude on fire. But um, it would have to be a stray shot, and it's very unlikely for her to actually be in the right position for that to happen. Hmm. Fair enough. I do love the organic leveling component. Yeah. You know, skills get better the more you use them. Although, yeah. unfortunately, stamina does not improve with, uh, running. Hmm. Now that you point that out, that does seem a bit, um, unfortunate. Yeah. Didn't you'd really think, think of it that way. You'd think that, uh, stamina would get better the more you run, and Magicka would get better the more you use Magicka. Well, I certainly remember, um in oblivion how easy it was to level up your acrobatics and your um, athletics. I bet. All you had to do was all you had to do was just walk everywhere instead of fast travel and then hey you leveled up in um, athletics. Yeah. And, and if you jumped everywhere then acrobatics leveled up. And I killed a guy without even trying. Fusro dot him right in the water where he insta died. <laughs> Oh, hey, he's got the Golden Glow Gate Key. Sweet. That was handy. How convenient. Uh, I don't see him. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. No, nothing wrong at all. But first, let's level up. Stand health. Yeah. Realistically, whenever you level, health should be the only thing you should be concerned about. I guess it depends on, um... Uh... what your... focuses are. I mean... No, 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 no. I mean, a... like, the more you use Magicka, the more Magicka you have, and the more you use... the more you run around, the more stamina you have. Mm. Like, health is the only thing that requires a level. Since you already upgrade um, armor by being hit. Yeah. So there would be no point in having two stats require the same function. No rune, I don't have a minute. Word on the street is Golden Glow's been hit. Good job, Laugh. Yay! Let me take a look at what you found. Arengar sold Golden Glow? What's that idiot thinking? 
He has no idea the extent of Maven's fury when she's been cut out of a deal. But I'm certain he'll find out. If only the parchment had the buyer's name instead of this odd symbol. Any idea what that might be? Uh, no. Blast. Well, I'll check my sources and speak to Mercer. But for now, you're off to speak to Maven Blackbriar. She asked for you by name. Um... Uh, no. Nothing like that. You're calling on her for business. That's between you and Maven. And I prefer to keep it that way. Don't worry about it. Maven's business dealings usually involve quite a bit of gold for her people. Speaking of which... <laughs> of course. Your pay. <laughs> You're smart as a whiplot. Keep doing right by us, and there's plenty more where that came from. Until next we meet, Lot. Oh, uh, there's something I'm kind of keeping secret from the audience right. right now because I'm kind of it's actually well spoilers a bit to talk about it. Just keep it between us. Don't worry, we'll be able to talk about it in a couple Some episodes. <laughs> Oh. Yes, I believe I know what you're talking about. Although, granted, I've actually got to film those episodes first, and as of this moment, they haven't been filmed yet. Oh, yeah. Oh. It'll still happen. Yeah. Is there anything else that I can steal? No? Okay. <laughs> and more. It's just picking the flowers. They're just growing there. Nobody else is going to use them. True. Use the Shrine of Talos to insta-heal all my diseases. That's pretty disturbing that all diseases and ailments are instantly cured by going to pray at a shrine. Disturbing? You gonna buy something? Or... Yeah, Take disturbing. But why? I mean, isn't that good? In a sense, but it really makes me wonder just exactly how that works. Coming from the guy who shoots fireballs out of his hand and some of the sword out of nowhere. Well, the sword, the sword out of nowhere isn't actually out of nowhere. It's actually from the plane of oblivion. I don't know, it's just like, the idea of magic. Well, okay. Here's the difference. Magicka is actually explained. It has a function, it has a way of summoning it, it's actually dangerous if you don't know how to use it. The shrines just seem to work. And it doesn't matter which deity you are, or even if you're a follower of that deity. Pray to it, and it works. Just very nice gods. Well, apparently, and they're not known for being nice in Elder Scrolls. <laughs> they're nice to the main character and the main character only. I guess. You are the Dragonborn, after all. True. But what's the excuse for the character who eventually became a Daedra? You know, the no, hero no, no, of Elder no, no, Scrolls no. 4. There was the whole, um, destiny thing, wasn't there? True. And, oh, I could swear they kept saying the will of the gods. Now, I know why they, uh, were being so patient with the guy from Elder Scrolls 3. Oh. He was the Nazarene. Okay, yeah. I guess it's not mere coincidence. I mean, there's always going to be something that makes the main character special. So you're the one. Yeah. Hmm. Except in Elder Scrolls Online, where you're one of about 50 billion special people. <laughs> but you're all unique in your own way. All special snowflakes. It's about time, Brynjolf, you someone with business sense. They're all fat I was beginning to think he was running some sort of beggar's guild. They are smart. They are strong. Faith. I don't have faith 
than anyone. For those of you who get Star All Trek jokes. All I care about is cause and effect. Did the job get done and was it done correctly? There's no gray area. I hope not. This is an important job. Hey, then Blackbriar. Snootiest I want to put out of bitch in this area. I also want to know how they managed oh, to get yeah. the place up and running so quickly. Head to the Bannered Mare and White. Interesting to work for, though. He'll fill you in on you all the details. Well, yeah, perform well, and she actually treats you well. True. One more time. So, in that clear. respect, she actually is kind of fair. Leave me alone. Sorry. Not here to cause trouble. Well, not this time. <laughs> okay, we're shot her. Not on that particular visit. Yeah, I'm not here to cause trouble. I only cause trouble the once. You don't need to worry about me again. Uh, uh, where? Where? Didn't I see you coming Hi. out of there? Yeah, you did see me walking out of there. <laughs> hey, Shotter. Good luck with Sapphire. Five, eight. You actually talked her into it? I don't know what to say. I didn't think anyone in Riften even cared what happened to me. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need it if Sapphire came for me, but I don't need it anymore. And potion of extended invisibility. Yay! Oh, nice. So can going... think of a couple of uses for that. I always use that when my sneaking skill is inadequate for a given task. Mm. We take a bath. Oh, I do that every time. <laughs> every time. I used hey, to make a point B, of going. Fun. I used to make a point of going down the stairs just because it was more realistic. Uh, now nah, take a bath. <laughs> Swan dive. <laughs> and we've got a spe specific person to meet here. Speaking of meat. <laughs> nice. Okay. I'm going to sit down here. Can't a man drink in peace? No. I'm going to keep this short because we've got a lot to do. Haunting Brew's owner, Sabjorn, is about to hold a tasting for White Run's Captain of the Guard. And we're going to poison the mead. Sweet. No, no, that's the beauty of the whole plan. We're going to get Sabjorn to give it to us. The meadery has quite a pest problem, and the whole city knows about it. Pest poison and mead don't mix well. You know what I mean? You're going to happen by and lend poor old Sabjorn a helping hand. He's going to give you the poison to use on the pests, but you're also going to dump it into the brewing vat. Maven and I spent weeks planning this. All we need is someone like you to get in there and get it done. Now get going before Sabjorn grows a brain and hires someone Is it else just me, or does Malice remind you of Grippa Wormtongue? You want a drink? Go this away. is a good comparison. Now please, no he more does. It does remind me a little bit. I mean, he's not that bad a character, but no. If it's worth it, it's not that bad a character, but still, he reminds me pretty strongly of Grippa Wormtongue. Just in looks. Yeah, just the aesthetics. Okay. Well. That looks like it's about it for this episode. This is Man in the Black Hat. And Obsessed Games. And we'll be back next time for more of Let's Play Skyrim on Rezowalkthroughs.com. Dot com. I did it that time. Yay! Ah. Later. <laughs>